decades of industrial fishing have decimated wild fish stocks, and fish farming is increasingly important to meet global demand. But fish farms still use wild-caught fish as feed, and the density of their stocks heavily pollute surrounding waters. However, a new model of fish farming not only avoids negative impact, but can actually enhance environmental value. I'm Russell Beard, and I've come to Veta La Palma in South Spain to see what truly sustainable fish farming looks like. OK, it's pretty early, but we've come to meet um, Miguel. He's the head biologist here. Miguel, how are you? How are you? Thanks for coming out. Good morning. Good morning. Many people say that uh, aquaculture is actually a non-sustainable activity. And we try to make aquaculture really sustainable here. And look at that. Our fish eat on shrimp, birds eat on shrimp, and we have still shrimp for selling. Yeah. So the production is huge. We don't feed the fish using the commercial diet that are made from fish that you get in the wild. You cannot talk about sustainability when you are feeding your fish from fish that you get from the sea. Exactly. And you don't do that. You don't have to. The key to Beta La Palma's sustainability is the nutrient-rich river water that's pumped around its 8,000-acre network of shallow ponds. Combined with sunlight, this encourages the growth of photosynthetic algae and plankton, the main food source for shrimp and other crustaceans. The fish eat the shrimp, and we eat the fish. So let's go and meet some of the predators. Wow. Look at the special Oh the my god, man, these are huge. The color is talking us about the density. Uh -huh. When uh -huh. you see one sea bass the same size coming from the conventional aquaculture, mm -hmm. it usually is very, very dark. Why don't you grow them at, at this kind of density? Presumably it'd be better for your business. Because we will have to face the usual uh, diseases that are all the time smashing conventional aquaculture, especially in the Mediterranean. So this is the kind of density and the kind of cultivation that we consider is the better for this kind of ecosystem. Low density and the natural diet are probably the two main differences between this farm and the conventional uh, fish farming. One of three things is going to happen here. One is I'm going to have a perfect cast. The second one is I'm going to completely mess it up. And the third one is I'm actually going to fall in the water. Sticks! A bag of sticks. OK. <laughs> All right, OK, one more time. <laughs> oh, that felt better. Hey! <laughs> That's right. Any? More stick! <laughs> Damn it. OK, so I understand there's a skill to this, you know? This is very good. You do it very good. If you need a position of fisherman here, <laughs> I can work. I have one for you. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yes. Oh, man! Nice work. Good work. Yes, yes. Inside the water, we have fish, a business, but you see the added value. And this is very, very important and the main difference of Petra Palma. Look at there. That's white and pinkish uh -huh. spot. It's a very big flock of flamingos. It is amazing, really. There's millions of birds. Millions, exactly. <laughs> I mean, come on. More than 40,000 ducks only in this pond. Anyone consider that the birds, for example, are mm. the traditional enemy of the fish farmer because many birds eat on fish. But for us, for example, the flamingos, they are moving nutrients, moving the energy, so they are contributing to the quality of the water. They take the pink color from the carotenoid pigments that are in the shrimps, larvae, and some other organisms from the zooplankton. So with them being here, you know that that kind of microalgae, that, that, that microfauna is present, exactly. which is good for them and exactly. good for the fish. Exactly. This is a very big indicator that the health of the water is very good for the business. So you're really kind of working with relationships here. You're almost, you're, look, you're taking nature's lead. You can even say that I am more expert on ecological relationships than on aquaculture. 
I mean, it's very easy to forget when you're surrounded by such beauty, such open space, you can hear the birds there on the horizon, that ultimately, this is still about food. Yeah, I can smell it from here. Do you think it's important to your customers that they understand about this new, this new model of fish farming? Uh, last year, people is changing, changing pretty, pretty fast. It's not just uh, eating. Is uh, enjoying, thinking about, uh, uh, it's a war. So, but this is something they can really get their teeth into. Excuse the pun. Yeah. Really good. Can I try it? Really good. Yeah, please. I mean, at the end of the day, this tastes beautiful. Why do you think it's important to bring ecology back into our food chain? The wild stock of fish, they are disappearing. But our appetite for fish is increasing, mm. especially if you consider China, India, or this kind of country. So we need to give them an alternative. Mm. We have to try new business model integrated in nature. We can even say that this farm, for example, is a center of production of microalgae. And our fish is like a subproduct. It's just one part of one this. Part of a whole, of a natural whole. This is a model for the future. This is a model for the future of this land and of the people of this land.